everybody once again. Uh, thank you for joining to our new Turkish University uh, webinar series. Uh, I'm Gizem, as most of you know, I'm seeing a, uh, some familiar uh, faces. Uh, you guys know the drill. First, we will listen from the university. Our guest today is from Altınbaş University. Uh, you have been asking about medicine, engineering, uh, other many programs, and they have all. <laughs> So uh, without further ado, I'm leaving the scene as usual. So uh, welcome again, Bella. Uh, nice uh, to uh, meet you and uh, we're excited to hear from you. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Bella Gulshan and uh, I'm from Altin Bash University. Today we will talk about some of the positive aspects and I let you know what are our advantages as a university. Um, let me share my screen with you first. So I will explain slide by slide. Okay. Okay. Okay, yes, we can see. Okay, you can see that. Fine. So the proper name of the university is Altin Bash University. It's a holding basically. Okay. All right. This, these are some of the pictures from our university. I mean, as you can see, some of the campuses and students enjoying themselves. <laughs> okay, so basically, Altin Bash University is a non-profit organization. So as you know that in Turkey, uh, if some university wants to establish themselves, then they have to be a government university or a foundation. So our university is basically coming from the Altin Bash Holdings. As you can see down here, you can see the holdings brands as well. We have Altin Bosch as a diamond business and, and gold business as well. We also have some insurances as well and some other hospitals and petrol pumps and all these things. It was established in 2008 and from now onward, it's still working. Uh, basically, our main campus is in Mahmud Bay, uh, the main campus. Then we have uh, two other campuses as well. Our medicine campus or health sciences campus is in Bakar Koy, and our social sciences department is in Geridepe. So the main building is basically Mahmud Bay, where we have engineering and other programs. And for health sciences, we only uh, teach in Bakarkoi campus. That, and we also have a hospital as well that is very near to our Bakarkoi campus, just five minutes uh, from our uh, main campus, sorry, from the Bakarkoi campus to the, our uh, hospital. These are some of the lives students have in the campuses. The main campus obviously have a, a bigger building uh, we have engineering department that is one of our uh, main and most populated department. We have so many students or one of the best departments in Turkey in engineering and natural sciences as well. Uh, Bakakoy, we offer dentistry and we offer medicine and we offer uh, pharmacy as well. So the three, camp uh, three programs are over there. In Geri Tepe, we have economics, we have social sciences, we have MBA, and some of the other social sciences related uh, departments are over there. Okay, so <clears throat> these are some of the main points that you should understand. Um, we have nine undergraduate school program, three graduate schools, one vocational school, and one foreign language department. For instance, some of the students have a need of uh, learning English first because we have a range of programs depending on the program. 
Sometimes the program is offering 30% English and 70% Turkish. Some programs are offering 70% English and 30% Turkish. There are some programs which are fully in Turkish and there are so many programs, for example, our health sciences, pharmacy, medicine, and dentistry, they are fully in English department, sorry, in English language. So if the uh, student has chosen a program, depending on the language, we have uh, the structure of English language department. They have to go there. They have to study according to their department or if they have TOEFL or if they have any other English language recognized certificate, then we accept that. Uh, we can see that we have a student to Turkish ratio of four over one. We have uh, 270 universities in, uh, we have contract basically, Erasmus contracts and bilateral contracts uh, in 14, 40 countries all over the world uh, that majorly consist of Europe, Latin America and other famous universities all around the world. We have a bigger library, which we have library basically in every campuses, in every campus. And then uh, in each campus, according to their program, we have small libraries according to those programs. For instance, uh, if we talk about Bakarkoy, uh, we have all the books and materials that students should need uh, related to their department. Same as with the Gary Kitape campus as well, we have social sciences books, social sciences publications. We have our own publication house as well. So the students can go and students can search whatever they want. Uh, there are more than 5,000 students basically in Alpin Bash University. And they are from 80 countries. So it's a huge number where you can see that we have students from 80 countries. They come over and they studied in our university. You can see there are so many people over here that these are basically a student life. They, they have clubs, they have programs, which, they, which we will uh, organize for them. We have fresher parties, we have graduation ceremonies, and we also organize some concerts as well. We have 80 uh, students clubs, which consists of uh, every kind of area or every kind of hobby you can imagine of. So if it is 80, you can imagine that how many clubs we have. Uh, if you are related with, uh, for instance, you are talking about kickboxing, if you're talking about uh, archery, if you're talking about sailing, if you're about cooking, whatever you name it, we have most of them in our university and people are taking part of it. I mean, I also take part of it because I have so much. I mean, this is a culture in the university that you can join the clubs, even staff can join the clubs and we all together have fun. Okay, we uh, provide a safe environment to the students because it's a very, the main campus and the other campuses as well. We have all the equipments and necessary machinery and everything that a student should need along, alongside with the studies. So we have security, we have safe environment, we have um, multi projectors as well. So what whatever you need in a classroom, we provide that in our, campuses, all of the campuses. We have labs as well. We also um, provide accommodation as well. The uh, accommodation is consist of, right now we have 389 students with us. And as you can see, these are uh, type of rooms that you can have, uh, then annual rate. It is a nine month rate basically, uh, because in, we, we do not offer any kind of accommodation in the summer school because uh, people don't prefer to come in summer school. Some of them come and some of them are not. And then you can see the per semester rate and description of the room basically. So you will go uh, to the dormitory. You can see which room you occupied. You want to take it basically. And then you decide about the price and then you decide about the uh, view that you want to have. Uh, in the library, we have internet access, laundry, uh, storage, cleaning services, everything that you need, basically. 
and it includes the heating electricity and water bills all these uh, amount all these ratios that you can see over here is including everything that that you need in a room basically or that you need in a dormitory we have some other facilities as well for instance uh, these are facilities that you will have in our accommodation, laundry kitchen, etc. We have TV lounge room or dining as well. It's a health center as well. We have a doctor and I have a nurse as well every uh, for 24 hours. Uh, so they can just uh, check you if there's any emergency and all that. Fortunately, we have a gym as well. <laughs> we have a uh, kind of music room where you can just go and play without disturbing other people. So people socialize with each other as well. If the girls' uh, dormitory is different. Uh, it's separate from the boys' dormitory. So girls have their own dormitory. Uh, while the uh, boys' dormitory is a little bit far away, a little bit far, not that far. It's just the opposite. So they have both different dormitories and girls also have all the facilities that the boys has. You can see uh, the room view here. It's a single room, basically. We have a gym, a sports club, basically. And then we have a TV lounge as well, where you can sit and do or spend your extra time with the other friends. Uh, we have shuttle as well. For instance, if you're living in dormitory, and uh, you want to go to Bakargoy campus. So you just took the shuttle and then you can just go there. Or if you are in Bakargoy and you want to come into Mahmud Bay campus, then it is the same. There are shuttles after 15 minutes or after half an hour. Uh, they go to all the campuses as well. Further, we have shuttles who took the students from their main roads or main highways. For instance, your home is half an hour drive from your home to university. So what we do is that we have shuttle locations. Uh, we have uh, four to five services in each day where they come and take you to where to which campus you want to go. We have shuttles from main campus to Gary Tepe, Gary Tepe to Mahmud Bay, Mahmud Bay to Bakar Koye, Bakar Koye to again there. And we also have services to uh, the other road as well. For instance, if your home is just a little bit far away from the campuses, then you could request to the uh, shuttle driver. They can just drop you or they can just request you to take shuttle from this point. So this is the plus point of having a shuttle. So uh, let's talk about undergraduate programs. We have nine schools and in nine schools, we have 30 programs. Um, this is a school of uh, medicine. As you can see, uh, it consists of, uh, it's, it's called the doctor of medicine, it's MD. The medium of instruction is English, duration is six years and part tuition Per year tuition is 2,000, 25,000 USD. This is a, a per year fee as well. Then we have dentistry. Its duration is five years. It's a combination of Turkish and partially English as well. Now it depends when you are choosing the program, you will see all the details that you need while applying the program. And if you have any inquiries or something like that, you can always email us or email me do and they will help you or I, we will help you as well. Be slightly different. As you can see, it's 20,000. Then we have pharmacy as well. The tuition fees is this, the duration is five years and pharmacy is all in English. Then this is our School of Economics and Administrative Sciences or Social Sciences as well. You can see the duration. These are four years. You can see the language as well. You can see the name of the program, degree, and tuition fee per year. These are related with the management. And these are all BA, these are all bachelor programs. 
these are engineering and natural sciences, which is the most populated uh, area of our university. You can see the courses, the degree program, the medium of instructions, and duration that is four years, obviously, and tuition fee per year. You can notice that there are some uh, brackets over there, means both mediums are available. For instance, if somebody wants to take in Turkish or somebody wants to take in English, so we have both the medium. You can take all the program in English language or you can take all the program in Turkish language as well. So these are the two mediums that we have. Then this, these are applied sciences as well. We have gastronomy, management information system, healthcare management as well, but these are all in Turkish. You have to be very careful when you choose the program and choose the language as well. School of Law is basically partially English and sometimes it's Turkish and German as well. German is very close to uh, Turkey and uh, the most populated uh, minority in Germany is, a, is they are Turkish basically. So we have so many, even in the English language, the foreign language department, we offer uh, German as well, we offer Persian, we also offer French and other courses as well. So students don't need to go outside of the university to take these languages. We offer these languages already in our prep school. So this means that the um, Bachelor of Law is two and two, means two years Turkish and two years German. Then these are arts and uh, design department. You can see the, the people who are interested in arts and design. Uh, they have these kind of programs from fashion, textile, design, uh, interior architecture, jewelry design, and cinema and television painting. Uh, these are all in Turkish, basically. So if somebody wants to take these courses, they have to uh, either take a Turkish exam in our university, or they can also have Turkish exam from Tomer as well, or if they don't have any knowledge of Turkish language and they still want to take these courses, we have a Turkish prep school in our university. You can come, uh, we offer you Turkish courses as like English prep school. So we pass the courses according to the degree requirement. If your level is A1, we offer you the program. If it is A2, B1 or B2, that depending on the program. And you will find all the details when you are applying for the program. It is already clearly written in the application form and the requirement as well. So uh, for graduate school, we have three graduate school and uh, 30 programs over there. Let's see the details. Uh, we have graduate school of so social sciences. Um, these are the name of the graduate program. These are master and PhD programs as well. Uh, medium of instruction, both in Turkish and in English language. Some of them are purely in Turkish, some of them are purely in English, and we have English or Turkish, both of them. Uh, the duration of a master program is two years. The duration of PhD program is for four years. And you can see the um, per program fee. Now here is the difference uh, in bachelor program or undergraduate program or graduate program as well. For instance, uh, the previous program shows you per year fee. But here you can see the total program fee. So for the total program fee for the master program in MBA, you can say that it is 6,900 USD. It is the full payment of the program. The same as with the PhD over here. Uh, we offer these PhD programs over here international relations it's a joint degree program basically you can you can have your master and phd all together or you can do it differently that is your own choice uh, then we have private law and then we have business administration unfortunately we only offer english uh, uh, medium of instructions only in international relations the other two are still in turkish hopefully this year or coming years we will offer more degree programs uh, and the medium of instructions will be in English. 
these are some of the other programs you can see over here. One more thing that I want to add here is that our uh, master program is for the duration is two years. Uh, but if somebody wants to take it further, for instance, if somebody uh, has some issues with their studies or with their life or some other circumstances, uh, it can be for three years as well. So maximum period for master degree is three years. Uh, the first year will be the coursework and the second year will be the thesis. Or if you don't want to take the thesis, we have without thesis as well. You don't have to take the thesis program. You can take without thesis. There are some coursework programs as well in master degrees. So it happens uh, with the people that people don't want to take thesis masters. They only take with some project or they have internship options as well. These are health sciences, master programs and PhD programs. As you can see, uh, the duration over here is different than the previous programs and the tuition fee is also different. So make sure that you check everything. And there are so many programs that you can choose in health sciences if somebody wants to come in health sciences. If you want to know about the um, courses, if you want to talk, if you want to see how many and which courses we teach, we have a website where you can go. You can check the program and check the courses, check the credit hours as well. Uh, the most important thing uh, to study in Turkey is that their credit hours is as the same as European credit hours. For instance, if somebody is going for Erasmus program and they completed six credit hours here, so they want to transfer over there or they have bilateral program or they have exchange programs or any other program, you name it. So they, they have the same credit hour criteria as the European credit hour. So it is not different. You don't have to recalculate your credit hours and transfer over there or their uh, credit hours that you earn over there and you will come over here. So it is the same. You don't have to do any extra things. We have vocational schools as well. We have five programs. These are basically depending on uh, the student if they want to have associate degree. It's a two-year degree, basically. Uh, the medium of instructions are all in Turkish. You can see the tuition fee per year. It's not per program, basically. It's a per year fees. Uh, these are five programs that we are offering at the moment. And it's a two year program. It is after your high school. You can just come and take your high school uh, degree and then you can just join this. And if you want after this, you want to go to some other departments, obviously your credit will be transferred automatically. Now, these were the if you can see, these were the normal general programs from every school we have. And now we go for the health related programs, associate or vocational schools. These are our programs in the health sciences department. Uh, they are all in Turkish. Their duration is two years. And this is per year program fees, as you can see over here. These are basically, you can say it's a hard skill. Uh, people have associate degree. In Europe, there are so many uh, universities who are offering these kind of programs related with health sciences. People have this if they are doing some health kind of uh, degrees, they can also benefit from these associate degree as well. As you can see, we have a range of programs uh, from dentistry, from medicine, and from pharmacy as well, and from other general uh, health-related issues or health-related degrees as well. So it's a range of programs that we are offering. 
Now let's talk about academic requirements for bachelor degree. Uh, mostly program uh, is basically accepting, we accepting 50% overall. Uh, but some of the programs, for instance, uh, we for pharmacy, we need 60% in high school on your last degree. Uh, then for dentistry, it's 70%. And for medicine, it is 80%. Uh, for the other program, we mostly or approximately can say we accept plus 50%, not less than 50%. It should be plus 50%. Uh, for the O levels and A levels, the grade should be D in all these three requirements. For A level or for O level, if somebody is doing A level or O level, we need a minimum D grade overall. So you can choose both of the options, the normal, high school and uh, if somebody is doing a level or o level after that uh, we combine these two a level and o level and then the combined score should be d uh, these are some of the requirements for the graduate programs basically uh, for the master program the the bachelor should be uh, four years but sometimes some of the universities or some of the countries don't have four years program. It has three years of program. So we also accept those programs as well. Uh, but it should be a recognized university and recognized university as well. So that, that should be the point. If somebody wants to come to a master uh, degree that their bachelor degree should be four years or three years, it should be recognized as well. If somebody wants to come as a PhD student, then we are not accepting the students who do not have master thesis because PhD is a research degree. And uh, for a research degree, you should have to have a knowledge before you are entering into a PhD or a doctorate program. So the people who do not have master thesis, we are not accepting those students in our PhD programs. Uh, well, you have to check the requirements in the application form. Uh, before applying to those. And you also have to check that what are the requirements of those specific program as well. As I'm explaining to you, we do not accept uh, people without thesis. For instance, if somebody is doing a master without thesis or with internship or with the project, we're not going to accept those people, okay? Now, let's talk about language uh, requirements. Uh, we have two kinds of exam, basically. Uh, we accept TOEFL, IBT, uh, for two years. It is valid for two years. And uh, we also have our own language, English language exam, Turkish language exam as well. Uh, if somebody is a bachelor student, again, it is depending on the program that you choose. For the master programs, most of the master programs, we need A2 level. If someone has A2 level in English language, uh, then we accept it. If someone has uh, a bachelor degree, for instance, we need 60% for bachelor seeking students. Uh, for graduate school of science and engineering, we only need B1 level. But for the social sciences and for the health sciences, we need B2 level. Now, B one level is for those programs where the uh, level of or medium of instruction is English and Turkish as well. While these two programs are fully in English, so we need B2 proficiency. So for the bachelor programs, we need, we have two uh, English exam. One is placement and one is proficiency. If someone passes the placement exam, then they will go for proficiency exam. If they pass this to uh, both the programs or both the exams, then they will go to the department. If they have TOEFL IBT, then these are the requirements. 65% or 65 uh, marks for bachelors. The same is for the uh, School of Sciences and Engineering and 75 for social sciences and 79 for the health sciences as well. So you have to keep in mind that which option you want to choose. You want to have a TOEFL 
give us give us the TOEFL results and we will evaluate it. The same happen with the English exam. If you don't want or if you don't have TOEFL, then you can come to our university or just email us uh, before the uh, registration or after the registration. We will tell you when is the exam date and you can just go to that. The all programs are online these days. Otherwise, we have face to face uh, uh, exams in normal circumstances. The PhDs also have the same scores, basically, depending on their chosen programs. Uh, this, this is our logo, basically, from English language department and from our university. Uh, we, we wish for all the people who take the exams. Uh, we have eight research centers in total. Now, uh, the research center is basically producing so many things, as you know. Uh, they are very important in your career. And no matter which program are you in, but the research and development centers are very important in every department and for every person that you're doing. So we have these eight research centers according to the schools that we have. We have uh, continuing education center, psychology, social and economic research. Uh, we, as you know, that center of family business management. In Turkey, we have so many family businesses as well. Uh, so it's a very good uh, research center where you can just have all the research papers related to the family businesses. And uh, the same happens with the environment research and career development as well. And we also have a dental hospital in Bakar Kuwait. So it's a the, the research center is in Bakaku campus. Uh, now these are institutional partners, uh, 40 bilateral agreement in 30 different countries and 180 Erasmus exchange programs. As you can see over here, you can see the countries, you can see the universities as well. Uh, these universities and the list of countries you can find also in our website in Erasmus uh, section. It is in the it is on the university website. We can go and check all these information as well by yourselves. Uh, if somebody is going to um, Erasmus program, you name it. Erasmus means that uh, you go to some other countries where we have, for instance, we have with the Germany. So we have so many universities in the Germany. You choose the university. Uh, then you will choose the program, which program you want to go, and we are going to fund it. Means we are sponsoring your Erasmus program. I'm going to show you some other countries as well and universities. Again, you can find the country and university list on our website. You can name it. Well, it, depending on your program and depending on your choices, which country, which university, and what is your research or what is your interest area, you choose according to those interests and your choices. Now, thank you very much for your attention. I just want to say some of the things to you. Um, if somebody is going for Erasmus program, we have all the information that you need on our website, the English exam that you need, uh, the university list as well, what is the process of going for Erasmus program. We also offer internships as well uh, within the university and outside the university as well. Uh, we have our holding as well, where students can come and take some internship as well. And we also have so many companies on our website where you, you choose the company, and then uh, if you want to contact with them, that, that is very welcome of you. And if you want to apply through our channel, then we offer uh, our Erasmus uh, department basically offering these kind of uh, emails and information to you when they have new opportunities. So they will send you the new opportunities very frequently Then you can uh, choose this. If you see this is your interest area, you want to go it, that is very welcome of you. You can just come and join us. So now 
I'm done here. If somebody wants to ask any questions, uh, then you are very welcome to ask. I'm here to answer you. Thank you, Bella, for the informing presentation. It was really helpful. Um, My pleasure. So we have uh, two questions in the chat box. Mm -hmm. And as you guys know, we would like to hear from you. If you would like to okay. uh, share uh, and ask a question, you can raise your hand and we will unmute you. First, okay. let's start with the chat box. So Emma okay. uh, he's asking, do you have any connections with hospitals? So after mm -hmm. from medicine, you can go and start working. Okay. Now, as I told you before that we have our own hospital. Uh, we have basically two hospitals. Uh, one is a dentistry hospital that is in Bakarku. Uh, you can just go and check that. And we have our own fully equipped uh, hospital. It's, a, it's for the medicine uh, students. So you can just, whenever you have the practical even, you just go to those hospitals and go to those labs and you can practice over there. Uh, it is the same with the other programs as well. For example, with the pharmacy and with the medicine and with the dentistry. So our student is basically going to those hospitals that we have. Uh, the other question is, do you have scholarship and how to apply it? Yes, we have so many scholarships. We, we are uh, giving scholarship from 25% to 50% to 75% to even 100%. Now, it depends on the uh, criteria that you need. Uh, Miss uh, Gizem is also helping us to give you uh, scholarships and uh, we offer so many scholarships. Now, depending on the program and depending on the criteria that you apply, we are tried our best to give you scholarships as much as we can. So there are hundreds of opportunities that you can apply and opt for. This is a need-based scholarship. This is a, there is an academic uh, scholarship. There are so many other scholarships as well. Furthermore, if you uh, have, um, if you have, if you come with the, uh, the first three students in every class after your first semester, after your second semester, after your third semester, you also apply those discounts as well. We have sibling discounts as well. So if uh, two uh, siblings are studying together, we have 10% uh, to those students as well. So there are a range of opportunities. When you apply for those scholarship means when you are going to apply as a, an application, then we will give you those options that you, you are able to opt this option. So for every admission, we are giving scholarships to most of the students, to 90% of the students we are giving scholarships. That's great. Uh, he, uh, okay, uh, just give me a second. Yes, uh, what about arts? We do not accept arts, I'm sorry. Uh, Turkish education system is following American system. So most of the education structure, most of the education programs, most of the education accreditations and other things are depending on the US program. So we only accept TOEFL or you can just come and have our own exam. So we do not accept arts. I'm sorry, Gizem. yes, please continue. Uh, I was just pointing out, uh, Emad had other questions about medicine. Okay. Uh, he, he's also asking, what are the requirements for medicine and uh, for other majors in general? And he would also like to know about accreditation of the university. Now, as I told you before, we have so many accreditation with the other universities as well. You can find all the information on our website in details with the country name I showed you as well. If you want to go further, you can just go to our website and you can see everything that you need. For medicine department, you need 80% in your high school. And uh, Raina. okay, there is, a, there is another uh, question regarding dentistry. Can you explain how it is partially in English like it is taught in English, but the practice in Turkish? No, my dear. There are some courses which are taught in Turkish language and there are some courses which you have to have in English. As you can, uh, as you know already that there are uh, the medicine, pharmacy and medicine, medicine, pharmacy and dentistry. Most of them are English based because these days you, it, they are not just country based degrees. You have to go international and work over there or international people come to you and you have to work 
work with them. So it is very necessary that you know both the languages. In medicine, uh, we don't have any Turkish, but in pharmacy and in dentistry, we have some part of Turkish language. Now, depending on the uh, program, depending on the course, there are some English courses and there are Turkish courses you have to uh, take. For instance, if your course is in Turkish language, you also need Turkish language as well. So we are also offering our uh, students Turkish language classes in our prep school. So it depends on the program. If the program starts with English language, you first you need English language. But if the program is starting with the Turkish language, you have to have provide us a certificate or even you just go to our prep school of Turkish language and you will learn about those language requirements that you have. Uh, we have accreditation locally and internationally. Uh, as I told you, we, we are a holding. So we offering internships and the other programs uh, in our university, internships. Plus we have so many opportunities for our students to go globally and to go to those universities and to have you know, a knowledge or whatever you wanted from the other universities and you can have those resources from us. Okay, thank you for the answer, Bella. So I don't see any other questions. Um, any questions, guys, ladies and gentlemen? They are actually really uh, up to date with everything because they have been joining our webinars. So yeah, you made them. <laughs> they know a lot of made them. Turkish universities and the application requirements. So uh, the most important questions they have are related to accreditation and policy. Mm -hmm. So um, that covers most of their questions, I guess. So. If no other questions, guys, one more message. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> thanks, thanks to you as well. That's a wrap for today. Uh, thank you, Bella, for joining us today. It was my very, pleasure. It was nice to uh, getting to know Altınbaş University closer. So, and thank you, Dalha uh, students. Uh, thank you for joining to our new meeting. We will have other meetings in the future. Uh, next Monday, we will have, have another university, as you guys know. Um, if you have any questions, uh, do not do not hesitate to contact me. Uh, I, I'm receiving some messages from you guys, but uh, I would like to see more. Just take advantage of uh, me <laughs> from, yeah, if you have trouble, you can also contact me from Instagram, whichever suits you. Uh, thank you, Ali, for sharing my email once again. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will have more uh, webinars. Uh, if you want to go back and see what we talked about on the webinars, you will see our videos over there. Uh, you can also click onto our portal. We have a new, app, a new news posting on Instagram every day, also on Facebook. Uh, and that's the wrap for today. Thank you so much. <laughs>